All right, welcome back, people. What a pleasure to be once again with all of you. Here we go. Perfect. And we begin. What a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to be once again with all of you. After the final analysis of Dungeon Siege 3. And for today, we have several things to do. Sorry that I'm a bit late, but soon you'll see why I'm a bit late, because I have something extremely special for all of you, since we, we've already finished the final analysis of Dungeon Siege 3, um, which I highly recommend you check out over at YouTube, because I've added a lot of addition and time and effort to it, so trust me, you'll be surprised by the final result, because it'll be a pretty in-depth, integral, and complete analysis after doing a 100% completion of the game uh, that took us 14 days. So, highly recommend you check it out. Okay, <clears throat> before we begin, ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, um, first of all, as I always do before we begin, thanks from the bottom of my heart, Maru Yatum. Thank you, we've been talking a lot over at YouTube. Thank you for being the 21st follower of the Twitch channel. It's extremely difficult to grow on Twitch because there aren't a lot of great tools for small streamers. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. All of the followers of the Twitch channel especially encourage me to continue showcasing all of these forgotten gems that certainly deserved much more praise much more praise back when they were released back then back in the day okay um also thanks to all of the subscribers of the youtube channel and of course also as i've said especially to the followers of the twitch channel because it's much more difficult to grow here okay thank you mario and we talked a lot about a lot of old school games so a pleasure to <laughs> to 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 have you here to uh, see that you that you at least discovered my weird crazy channel. We do a lot of experiments here, so yeah, pretty pretty much. Okay. With that with that said, what do we have for today, ladies and gentlemen? What do we have for today? Um, we'll do a special one day showcase as we usually do after um, our long analysis, our long game reviews. I generally do these special one-day reviews. Uh, they are not reviews, they are showcases because I don't analyze the games because they are generally extremely short. So, today I'm late because I had to configure this game that I'm gonna show you. I'm not showing it to you right now because the interface will be all funky and weird. That's why I first want to do, to, want to do the introduction like this. Um, it's a pretty old school game, it's Pokemon Palette version 2, it's a forgotten game developed by a company called Fluid Entertainment, um, which is basically, it, it, it was basically um, a development studio of Wizards of the Coast, you all know them, the creators of the, the, the creators of the of the legendary Dungeons and Dragons uh, tabletop game, so or at least they they have the they hold the rights nowadays. So it's a pretty famous company uh, based in the U.S. that not only the designed the modern editions of Dungeons and Dragons, but they also also the, the the first ones. I think they were always the, the creators, if I'm not mistaken. But they also developed a lot of card games. And usually, back in the back in the early 2000s, they had a lot of licenses. And there was this moment in which Nintendo gave them the Pokemon license, the highest gross, grossing media franchise of all time, in case you don't know. Yes, even beyond Star Wars and Disney and Mickey Mouse and everything. They gave them the Pokemon license, which is something extremely uncommon 
by Nintendo, something extremely unusual. Nintendo generally is extremely uh, proud and and they they have a hold a, a strong grip of their licenses, kind of like uh, they never, almost never allow a, th a second party, this would be a second party development studio, to develop uh, a, a game with using their licenses. So, yes, it's a pretty uncommon situation. Uh, cases like Xenoblade or in the case of Mercury Steam, a Spanish studio that was allowed to, to develop um, Metroid Return of Samus, the remake on the Nintendo 3DS, and, and well, also Monolith Soft uh, helping in the development of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild due to their experience with Xenoblade Chronicles. Well, those are some two basic examples of it. So it's a pretty uncommon situation. That's what the main idea. And... Sh this is why I arrived late. Capturing footage of this game is extremely difficult. That's why you won't find a lot of footage online of this game being captured. And if you do, it won't be at high resolutions. Right? So, um, that's another thing to keep in mind. You'll see that the game will look extremely good. It'll look extremely good. But just know that um, it'll be 4x3. My layout will be 4x3, as you'll see in a moment. That's why you'll see that everything will go to to hell for a second. But I managed to adapt my layout to, um, to the extremely low resolution of this game, which is 800 by 600 So it's extremely difficult to capture footage. But besides that, it's extremely difficult to... Um, even make this game run. It's extremely difficult to make this game even run uh, at all. At all. Um, so, yeah, pretty, pretty much. Today we'll do a pretty relaxed stream and we'll showcase two games. We'll showcase two games. This one, and then I wanted to do, if we have time, um, I remember that some time ago we showcased Outrun. Right, so we'll do, and I progressed uh, through the game a bit uh, on stream, but then I finished it on my own, but I left the final level, which is the 15 stage continuous um, mode of Outrun, of Outrun 2, Outrun 2006, so yes, pretty, pretty much. Okay. So, don't worry, as I've said, this game, it was extremely difficult to capture footage of it, it was extremely difficult to make this game even run, so don't worry, my layout will be a bit messy for a second, and then it will go back to normal once the game is launched, so don't worry. Don't worry, as I've said... As I've said, my layout will be a bit crazy here. I don't know if you'll be able to see me selecting the game. Yeah, it's, it's right at there. It's right there. It's a bit outside. But well, don't worry. It's Pokemon Played version 2. And you'll see that when I launch the game... This is why I arrived a bit late today. Because making this game run on Windows 10... Don't worry, everything will go to, to hell. But as you can see there... Now it's properly captured. It took me around two hours to capture this appropriately. Okay. There you have it, Fluid Entertainment. And there it is. We'll let the intro run. Let me remove the cursor, the pointer. Fun. So, do you 
perfect. Looks like the my experiments were successful. Hi, welcome to Pokemon Play It. Type in your name and then click OK. Or select your name from the list. See you in the arena. Hey, it looks pretty good from it looks pretty good for a game that was released back in Back in the year 1999 for Europe, kind of like December and the year 2000 in, here in, in the Americas. Um, so yes, pretty much, I think it's being properly captured. What a miracle, guys. So yes, here you have it, Pokemon Played version 2. Why does it say version 2? Just a bit of context. Uh, version 1, I played version 1 back in the day. Um, it was a demo. It was a demo. You could barely play with two decks, and it was extremely limited. So yes, uh, almost 25 years <laughs> later, I managed to make it run the ver version two, which is which is the complete version. Um, this game is for it was released for Windows 98, even though it was released back in the year 2000, two years later. And uh, it's a miracle. It, it took me several uh, days just to make it run, kind of like open, just to make it open, to kind of like make it run the executable in, in on my PC. And <laughs> then it took me three hours today. That's why I arrived late today uh, to to capture footage appropriately of it all right so there you have it um some months ago when i are you chicken choose a pokemon ah the 90s okay um i completed all of the basic and and the advanced challenges that you see here they are basically just uh, tutorials uh to ensure that you learn how to play the game i remember that these this uh, piece of software was originally developed. <laughs> it was originally developed so um, ch children would learn how to play the game back in the 90s to popularize the game. So, besides the Game Boy game that we all know and love, we had this weird piece of software. Make sure you check the text box at the top and the bottom of the screen and do what it tells you. Hey, I'm watching the preview and it, it, it runs pretty smooth for you. Good, good. Looks like I successfully captured <laughs> the, the magnificence of this game. So, what are we gonna do, people? As I tell you the story and everything and the context, we are gonna... No, 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 not fire. Do, do electricity. Do... Let's, let's grab a... a... A weaker deck. Uh, just so you know, the artificial intelligence of this game, this is why I'm giving her the advantage of... Uh, the type advantage of getting an, an electric type deck. Um, uh, the artificial intelligence is not pretty good, in the sense that uh, in order to lose, you have to <laughs> get a pretty bad hand or a pretty bad... or select a pretty bad deck. Uh, the water deck is basically my favorite, so I'll begin with this one. We'll play with the rest of them. As I've said, in version 1, the one that I played back when I was a child, you only had two decks, water and fighting. So, yep. Well, there, as you can see, it takes double damage. And let's see if we can play some games. Mm, this doesn't look good. <laughs> Actually, I I might have gotten a bit ahead of myself saying, <laughs> damn it, <laughs> saying that that the artificial intelligence is terrible. Well, it is terrible, but the type advantage will will compensate things. Ah, I cannot evolve them on my first turn. True. Um. All right. Anyways, we are paralyzed. <laughs> I cannot attack. As you can see, the game is. Extreme. It's pretty complete. It had that paralyzing effect. It has graphical effects for every for every status type: poisoned, paralyzed, burned, whatever. 
Hey, he did. <clears throat> oh, whoa. That got a bit out of hand. Uh, and another thing. If it crashes, well... If it crashes, there's nothing I can do. The game is so extremely old that it has a weird crash. But hopefully I fixed it. I've already tried showcasing this. Um, I already tried showcasing this. I should have. I should have picked Magic <laughs> I, I already tried. I tried showcasing this. Last year, but the crashed ruined my gameplay. So yes, hopefully this time it won't crash. Because yes, the game not only is difficult to make it run. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I should have picked Magic Arp. My bad. Anyway, she she was pretty lucky to draw this thing first turn. <laughs> okay. Well, I think she won. <laughs> Remember, I told you at the beginning that the artificial intelligence sucked in this game, and that I was going to give give it a type advantage. Yeah, uh, that was a pretty lucky hand. <laughs> that was a pretty lucky hand. <laughs> I think we may have to <laughs> to start again. <laughs> well, but at least you could see that if you give the artificial intelligence a type advantage, you can compensate for the terrible... For the... <laughs> yeah, we lost. <laughs> and here I was telling you that, <laughs> that the artificial intelligence was terrible. All right, you win. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> that, that that's the part of a streaming that that you can never calculate. I could I could calculate running the game. I could calculate um, ensuring that it won't crash. Hopefully, it's, we still don't know. And I could calculate the perfect the perfect frame. Uh, the perfect layout to showcase it, and then she kills me in the first round. Well, doesn't matter. Let's try again. Uh, see, this is why streaming is much more rewarding than 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 just showcasing pieces of gameplay, cut pieces of gameplay over at YouTube. Okay. All right. Now we got a, a much decent hand, and hers is terrible. <laughs> Now it's the other way around. Okay, we begin with Lapras Water Gun. Does 10 damage plus 10 damage for each water energy attached to it, but not used to pay for this attack's energy cast. You can add more than 20 damage this way. Okay. Oof, Electabuzz against Lapras will be will be extremely tight. Ah yeah, forgot to mention, it has Pokemon Christ. The game features Pokemon Christ. Alright, double damage because of the weakness. Right there, electric. Just don't paralyze me! Thank you, thank you, see it worked. Okay. I am just hoping the game doesn't crash, I don't know if you, if you noticed. Okay, um, 20, ah oh, yeah, but we have a problem with that attack, with that second attack. I have switch, so... Garados could actually save me if I can energize Magikarp before she kills it. 30 plus, yeah, but 30 times 2 would be 60, that's way too lethal. Mm. Now this is getting interesting. Well, at least I could create a tense situation right at the beginning of the stream. 
All right, we need to go confuse, right? And uh, risk it, I guess. Because that thing deals way too much damage. Huh, that didn't hurt at all. Yeah, I can notice. Let's see. Damn it, we are dead. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Come on, heads. Anyways, it's 60 damage, I believe. Yep. 60 that 40. No, it's 40 plus uh, t times 2. It's actually 8. Uh, yeah, that may be way too out of the arena. I need a meat shell until I can evolve this magic arp. Anyways, I need 3 energies. She didn't give me any time. Good. Okay, the game didn't crash. <laughs> Have you noticed that that sound kind of like repeating the the sound a bit there? Well, that's that's a problem because um, I mean that's a problem. That would have been a problem because normally that's exactly when the game used to crash. But the fact that it didn't crash is a good sign. It means that it won't crash this time. All right, let's see. If I need this Lapras to survive at least one turn, and I'll be able to. To bring Garados out. Please don't. Don't. No. No. Tails. 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 So yes. Thank you. Good. See? The game has a bit of tension. Even if, an, if it's an old school basic game from. <laughs> from the early 2000s. And. And it takes one. Uh, 10 damage. Good. I know this looks terrible. <laughs> terribly bad. But it's all part of the plan. Trust me. It's all part of a plan. Because it has 70 HP and Dragon Rage is 50. Okay, perfect. I'll be able to do a one hit. A one turn knockout. A one hit kill. Alright. Anyway, she'll have two prizes. These are the prizes. You collect prizes as you knock out enemy Pokemons. It doesn't matter, it's 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 already knocked out. Mm, she has a second elect of us. That's a problem. She has a second elect of us there in the bench. Not mm, this is going to be. I only have three energies. Well, not like I have much of a choice. Pretty much, this is this deck's uh, best card. Pretty much, this Garados. So it's my ace. So, but it doesn't have weakness to electricity. Look at that, the weakness is, is actually grass. So it's a huge... It's a pretty huge counter against this strategy. And... One hit knockout. And that's what I call... A comeback. Yes. Looks like we turned this around, people. Even with with a two prize disadvantage. Actually, now one. We are one prize behind, but well, at least energy removal would be a problem. But energy removal is pretty much a trainer card that removes one energy. But. Thunder shock. Ah, she she tried to paralyze me, so I cannot so I cannot attack. That's why she used the first one. Hey, the artificial intelligence is not that bad because she could have gone for for thunder punch, but that one actually doesn't paralyze. And if uh, and it was actually better to to try to use thunder shock because uh, had she uh, had she paralyzed Garados, I could have. I would have been unable to, to, to dish out most of the damage to, to for one turn. Par Paralyze means you lose one one turn. You cannot attack. Alright, Pokeball. Uh, flip a coin. If heads, you may search your deck for any basic Pokemon Revolution card. Should that to your opponent. Well, but... In case you are wondering, I know what, what all of these trainer cards do. I am just reading them so you can. 
in case you cannot see them. But even so, the footage is pretty smooth. I think it's 60 FPS or 30. Looks pretty... Looks very smooth. Smooth to me. What do you think? <laughs> Leave it in the comments down below in case you're watching this as a YouTube bot. I think it's pretty smooth. It's a miracle that I could capture this footage. Okay. Bubble Beam. Uh, Flip a coin if has the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. I think you can read it perfectly. Even consider that it's a game that the the original resolution is 800 by 600. So imagine. All right. Confuse. 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 Yes. I don't know. It's paralyzed. Better. So Bubble Beam paralyzes. <laughs> That's so weird. It certainly doesn't work like that in the real game. In the actual game. Ah, forgot to mention, I think that when you are paralyzed, you cannot retreat your Pokémon. Oh, look at that. Ah, but she needs four energies. Ah, look at that. Pretty good. Alright, that was an extremely lucky draw. If you ask me. <laughs> kind of like it was the only Pokémon that I actually needed because I had Galdog here. Alright. Um, this match... It's turned out to be much more tense that, than what I originally expected. Dragon Rage. Second knockout. It was a pretty nice comeback. Wow. Out of the arena. I can't it. In case you are wondering, the game represents kind of like Pokemon TCG, uh, kind of like 1.0. It's, it's literally the original playset. It's literally the first original playset. These are all the first edition cards. The, the ones that we kids from the 90s grew up with. So yes, basically. What? Did she, she used a stomp, 20 plus, plus 10 damage. If held, that's 20 damage. Uh, that Electabuzz had already dealt uh, 10 damage, so it's... it was only 20. Okay. Uh, I don't have a gold in, so pretty much. So yes, it's basically the original playset. 1.0, right here. Uh, let's try Bubble Beam. Anyways, I couldn't do a one-hit kill. It has... 60 HP. As you can see, I wanted to showcase this for some time. As I've said last time, I couldn't showcase it. Because of, of what I mentioned. First, it was a mess to make this game even run. And then... Oh. That's uh, interesting. Mm. Oh, but I have two turns. I think you're not gonna make it. You should have used other mage shells. Had she used, for example, this Dark uh, Radicate as a meat shield and then energized Zapdos, she could have dealt. She could have used Thunder and she could have made a one hit kill on Gyarados. Ah, no, 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 no. Yeah, she could have used Thunderbolt, but, well, it would have been a one time attack. Yeah, Thunder, it, would, um, it wouldn't have been enough. It wouldn't have been enough, because it would have been 90. She should have gone for one of the mid shells, uh, use that basic attack, speedball, plus 20, and then do a one-hit kill with, with the thunder right there. So, yeah, pretty much. But, well, anyways, I have... Ah, uh, this one has a weakness to lightning. But, well, that's why... This one is a huge counter because this one is a huge counter to to this Sabdos, for example, because as you can see, the 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 hyper beam attack doesn't deal a lot of damage, but it removes one energy card. And if you are low on energy, and this one kind of like this is a this one requires a lot of juice, a lot of energy cards to actually uh, perform its attacks. So. I'm not through yet. Well, 
We couldn't paralyze it this time. <sighs> okay. I was being pretty lucky. I mean, two paralyze. Hmm. That's close, but you're not gonna make it. You ain't gonna make it. See, this is what I meant when I s when I said that the artificial intelligence mm, is not perfect because this the game is meant to be played by children. So the artificial intelligence is not that good. Kind of like it cannot calculate when to use a meat shield or when to to can to kind of like reserve its its best Pokemon for last. Kind of like it just throws them. Sometimes uh, because of the weakness, as you could see, you can actually lose. But it's kind of like on the exceptional side kind of like it's not common so I'm pretty I think we can pretty much say that we won this oh well it was a rough start had my Lapras been paralyzed that turn I could not evolved Magikarp and I would have probably lost well not quite because Garados actually didn't have a weakness yeah pretty much By the way, these three buttons, you can use them to shut her up or whatever, but... Kind of like Greenies talk all the time. This one, she will be extremely talkative. She'll kind of like describe every action she does, kind of like... Uh, that, that, if, you, if you press this, this is truly made for children, kind of like... She'll explain every single rule every time she does anything. Uh, this one, with this one, you can shut her up. She, she'll shut up immediately, but the and the screen is pretty much shut down. You won't even see her face. But well, like this is a bit more interactive, I guess. I like it because it's a bit more interactive. She doesn't talk a lot, but she at least reacts to the to the gameplay like that. Those touches are pretty advanced for considering this was a game developed back back in the year 2000. And basically made a side project made for for kids, so they can learn the the TCG, so they could learn the TCG. Hey, that's extremely lucky. I oh, know I cannot because it's the first time. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. Looks like I fixed the crash. So yeah, it was a pain. It, it it was a pain. Actually, three to make this game run, to even make it run. After I made it run, um, it had crashes. Consider that this is working on, this is running on Windows 10, and then capturing the footage, a mess, an absolute mess. <laughs> I had to kind of like resize my whole, resize my whole my whole layout, my whole stream layout. So yeah, pretty much. We'll play with all of with all of the decks. It'll be a one day showcase. And then Oh, that's pretty good. Um I'll empty my hand of energy cards, but I think we'll win even before that. Yes, as you can see this is called the snowball effect. Both in Pokemon video games and also the trading card game. Right? Snowball effect, kind of like when you increase the stats of your Pokemon in in the game, in the real games, uh, in the real video games. Kind of like when you increase the attack and speed. It's pretty much what we call a sweeper. And a snowball effect coupled with a good sweeper can cause this. And it's the I, I love how the, the and it's the same for the TCG. I love how the TCG properly represents the the video game. Kind of like the video game was first. The then the anime, then this. You beat me. I demand a rematch. And you shall have it. That was pretty good. 
Make sure you check the text box at the top and the bottom of the screen and do what it tells you. Ready? Let's play. It's amazing just for the for just how we'll play royalty. Royalty against uh, water, wet and wild. They, they yeah, they put names the to the to the decks. We'll play royalty. Royalty is my second favorite. So it's my second favorite against my favorite. Mm, pretty good. It has a one energy retreat cost, but well. Um, yeah, but if I go second, no, let's begin with this and this. That's it. And I won't show her that I have a second one. Well, we go first. That's good news. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, she drew a Lapra. He, she drew a Lapras first turn. <laughs> she drew a Lapras first turn. That's kind of like insanely good because of the huge HP pool. The huge HP of 80, that's a lot. Uh, I'll pass. Yes, we, we, we open with a meat shield. We open up with a meat shield. Come on, heads. All right. That didn't work for you. And... Anyways, here it would be neutral, right? Because, yeah, weakness, fire and weakness. Electricity doesn't make... All right. Uh... Huh. We can... Check this out. <laughs> yes, it has a lot of quirky Pokemon Christ like that one. Yes. Uh, I know, she used Confuse, right? Alright. If a Pokemon is confused, to attack, flip a coin. Heads works normally. Tails attacks itself for 20, for 20 damage, pretty much like in the video game. Um, and then to retreat, the same. Fails and can't retreat until next turn. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Go all in. Yeah, I think... Yeah. Let's do this. And... Mm, no, let's... Let's delay... <clears throat> let's delay her first uh, price. Let's delay her, her first price, because if... She could have made. She could have done a a, a one-hit kill there because she already had two two damage counters, and and she would have drawn the first. She, she, yeah, she would have drawn the first prize, and that's an advantage that I don't want to give her. So let's increase the HP pool from 40 to 70. This is a pretty good draw, and then we'll do this. Retreat coast, retreat coast three and cannot attack until it has three energies. So let's do that and end our turn. So it would take her, if she doesn't have switch, which is a trainer card that I don't know if you paid attention to the previous match. Um, hey, good. I think we can do this. Let's go for poison powder. Pretty good. Perfect, because uh, poison will be a, a huge counter against uh, against the large HP pools that Hello, the large. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! I'm explaining to the stream what's going to happen. But well, let them see them for themselves. She interrupted me. She's the co-host of the stream. It'll be a huge counter. 
because, as you can see, it takes 10 damage each turn. Ha, huh, okay. But anyways, it won't make a difference. Okay. There's the poison, right there. Pokemon Breeder, put it to a stage 2 evolution. Uh, useless. This card was, was a useless draw. <laughs> a useless. Use, it was useless to draw that card. Um, Poison Powder again. Thank you. Uh, it's already poisoned, so it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> to flip a coin. But well. <laughs> Dugon remains poisoned anyway. Yeah, Poison is extremely effective against these Pokemon, as I've said, with huge. HP bars because it will slowly deal with them. <laughs> the first attack is actually better than the second attack than than race or leaf. Okay, um, uh, let's do that again. Anyways, it's ten free damage, and doesn't matter because it remains poisoned anyways. Yep, we could say that poison is a bit OP, but well, the way to balance, the way they balance that in in this 1.0 version of the TCG, is to to actually make uh, poison attacks usually deal only 10 damage, which is extremely low. It's the lowest possible. Let's finish this. Hey, this was a nice... It ended up being a pretty nice strategy and I turned it around. Wow. Knocked out of the arena. I can't believe it. Also, Gust of Wind was... Of Wind was pretty good there. <laughs> nice Pokemon cry. By the way, there's a thunderstorm outside. That's why I also... Started the stream late. I just arrived. There's a huge and there's a brutal Antarctic thunderstorm outside of <laughs> of my apartment. So yep, <laughs> huge thunderstorm. And uh, th those Antarctic. I, I know that people don't know about them because most of the population of the planet live kind of like in the northern hem hemisphere. But I'm pretty close to the South Pole, and these... It's its weird, because um, our temperature, I think, is generally higher. Kind of like... Right now, we are getting into the... We are getting into the... We are going from spring to summer. We are kind of like in the middle of the spring. And yes, it's kind of like exactly the opposite. As the northern uh, hemisphere. Well, look at that. This is pretty tight now. Retreat? Ah, yeah, that's the thing. When you retreat, you are no longer poisoned. I should retreat this guy so he can. So we can, so we can stop being, so we can stop being confused. Um, because otherwise it'll deal damage to it, twenty damage. Uh, well, uh, retreat. Yes, flip. Damn it! I cannot retreat. Shit. That wasn't my brightest idea. To hell with it. <laughs> Lack of the draw, I guess. Lack of the draw. <laughs> Double tails. There's a huge thunderstorm outside and kind of like... I bet you cannot hear it, but... Yes, please, I need this urgently. <laughs> the, what, what that card does, Pokédex, it basically lets you rearrange the, the next five cards of the top of your deck. Well, what could we possibly choose? What, <laughs> what a huge variety, damn it. <laughs> See, these are the things that, that give me life. Th this kind of like 
random moments of gaming. They, they are the ones that you'll never <laughs> see, that, that you can only get in, in the middle of a stream. <laughs> Rearrange the five top cards of your deck that you are about to draw. Rearrange them, come on, come on. So that'll give you an advantage. They are all the fucking same. Ah, <laughs> well, at least I, I know that we'll have a pretty good hand uh, in the future. We'll get a pretty good hand. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can poison that thing. Weeping Bell attack succeeds. Ah, but it's still not poisoned. Now I need to flip for the poison. There are no, there are no partial solutions with this game. Other, uh, either or either doesn't matter. Of course, according to your pronunciation, well, it's you can use the British or the American one. Um, uh, either I generally use either instead of either, but you can also use it. It's technically correct. Um, Either two tails or two heads. There's kind of like no mid-term with this game. Uh, if I try to retreat and... To hell with it. Yeah, well, if it doesn't succeed, I'll get killed. Well, that was extremely lucky. The Legend of Weeping Bell, the Mitchell. Goes on. Yes, the legend of Weeping Bell the Mitchell. Ah, but it's not poisoned. MVP to this Weeping Bell. <laughs> I think it's, it's going to survive. Yeah, because it's only one. The legend of Weeping Bell the Mitchell goes on. Yes, sadly, I think I've already won with these two monsters <laughs> on the bench. Well, let's see. Weeping Bell. Let's see if your legend ends here or goes on. <sighs> Go damn it, the legend goes on. For those of you who lost track, if as you can see there, if a Pokemon is confused and it decides to attack or it decides to retreat and you get a tails, pretty much Use it suffers 20 damage. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that line. Well, but I think this is it. Your legend was long, Weeping Bell. You pretty much won the match, I believe, because now we have these two monsters. Perfect. You see that sometimes the sound gets kind of like a bit looped? Well, that's exactly the moment in which the game would normally crash, right? But, as I've said, with, uh, with several property configurations I managed to make it run thinking not only the, the, the property, the compatibility options, thinking that it's... Um, Windows 98. <laughs> right, so... Besides, I had to touch the... I had to configure the resolution. And those things, and the DPI, and those 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 things from the properties. Alright, um... How much damage? It has 20. It has 20 damage, and it has... 80. Okay, perfect. It wouldn't be enough. Even my best attack wouldn't be enough. It would be 70, so... Let's try to paralyze it. No, you won't after this. Well, let's see. Yeah, you won't after this. You just lost one turn. Paralyzed. The thing with paralysis is that it only lasts for one turn. But poison and confusion, they are kind of like permanent. Until the Pokemon retreats or... Or... Or in the case of confusion, attacks and... and and attacks itself. Uh, 
So yeah, pretty much. Paralysis is kind of like worse because you lose a whole turn. You cannot do anything. But it's only one turn. Yeah, that could be a problem if she had. That could be a problem if she has the energy cards, but I don't. I think she doesn't have them. I think she's dry of energy cards, people. So, uh, exactly twenty paralysis and then fifty magnificent. I bet you didn't expect me to showcase this this weird game today. But yeah, I actually tried, as I've said, last year, and it crashed. It was a mess, so yeah, pretty much. Oh, she had a switch. Oh, look at that. Yeah, she's... She has a spent all of her energy cards. I think this one's in the bag, people. This one's in the bag. That one's pretty good. Okay. Um, same story. They are all 70 HP. Hmm, Paralyzed. That, I, I'm being extremely lucky with the paralysis, I must say. Right. You just bought yourself one more turn, but it's not gonna help yet. Because we're gonna do this. Because this one could cause some problems with that hyper beam because it removes one energy card. Anyways, I think we have this. We've already won. Oh well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there are a lot of obscure games that never that, that are never mentioned and never get the praise they deserve. Ah, you got another energy card. Good to know. Well, yeah, that's a lot. That's that's thirty damage. That's a lot. But I have another potion and Oh boy. <laughs> Anyways I think we win. Yep. Because the highest attack is, is thirty, so yep. Mm. Ooh, that had to hurt. Okay. The Pokemon cries are kind of like so weird. That one was pretty close. If she has one more energy card, she can actually knock out this pincer, but she ha I, I I prevented her from drawing a lot of the price as well she has them. <laughs> Forget if she has one more or she just drew it. I think she, she just drew that one. Pretty good. Okay. Knocked out of the arena. Okay. But that won't help ya. Yeah? By the way, pretty good soundtrack. For a game that was as I've said, a side project, not even made by Nintendo, <clears throat> from in the early, in the year 2000. Okay. That was a valiant effort, but I have a huge advantage right now. 
This will be a one hit knockout. So, yes, we win. Let's end this spin, sir. You'll have it, but with different decks. Yes, we know. We know. Okay. Well, as you can see, people... There are a lot of forgotten games. I love how the frames and everything... If you pay close attention, everything is in 3D. It's extremely polished. So... So, yeah. We'll play with Hidden Heart this time. Um, no, I. one thing. If you kind of like do this... You can change the you can change the the opponent's uh, the opponent's uh, deck. Psychic Dream that's an advantage. These are fighting Pokémon. Let's give her the advantage once again. And that's a shitty hand. <laughs> that's the very definition of a shitty hand. By the way. And let me do Alright, we need it. it. It doesn't have a retreat cost. This one doesn't have a retreat cost, so good. Okay. Well, that's it. I like how I love how they chopped the. I don't know if you noticed, but they chopped kind of like the. <laughs> these images, these JPGs, kind of like these images of these cards. These cards are from the 90s, so imagine people. I feel tempted to discard my whole hand, but <laughs> with this one, but let's do this. Uh... That Jinx is... This one doesn't have a retreat coast anyways. Oh well, anyways. Doesn't have a retreat coast. Um, okay, let's... Double slap uh, two coins. It can kill me in one blow. Damn it. Well, we'll have to risk it. Let's try to... Let's try to extend it one more turn. Ah, oh, but this one has resistance against psychic attacks. Should go for this one. Well, that will be 20. There we have the explanation. Weak, so 10 times 2. I think I'll go with, the, with that Meowth. We'll do this. And... Well, if it, anyways, if I use Gust of Wind, this one doesn't have a retreat coast, as I've said. So, yeah. Let's see, let's wait, see if she places another Pokemon in her bench. Because maybe if she places another Jinx, I can trap her with Gust of Wind and it's dead. No. <laughs> My strategy just went to shit. Okay. Knocked out of the arena. Really? And let's see how you deal with this one. Well, that's resistance right there, the opposite of weakness. As you can see, resistance to defending Pokémon extracts damage from a Pokémon that it has resistance to. Yeah, 30. 30 points of damage are subtracted. So... So get ready. Uh, I'll discard this anyways. Minus 30. Perfect. And let's discard. Give me the rest of the cards. I mean, we are... Uh, this is actually even better. Finally, some good basic Pokémon. This is basically the Lapras of this deck, this Hitmonchan. A large pool and 20 damage with only one energy card. It's, a, it's an amazing deal. 
Let's go with Payday. See if we can draw extra cards. Meowth is kind of like the perfect counter against this deck, against Psychic decks. I love how they balanced uh, the decks, kind of like including some normal Pokemon, like that one for example, um, to balance out the, the weaknesses. <laughs> Did you know that there was a huge controversy around this Pokemon, around Jinx? She couldn't attack because she had to 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 retreat that Pokemon. That kind of like takes your you you have to either attack or retreat. For those of you who don't know, huh, that didn't hurt at all. Flip. Ah, damn it. Uh, I I want to have a card advantage. Minus thirty. She should. She needs to do meditate. It's 20 plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on the defending Pokemon. It has only one, so it would be 30. It would actually deal no damage to me. Special punch. Alright, let's distribute them a bit evenly. So we have this one ready with anger. Go oh, damn it. This Meowth. It's a huge counter against those psychic Pokemons. But I mean, so unlucky. Three times in a row. I'd rather have two energized Hitmon chance instead of one. Why is she not attacking? Because, anyways, because it wouldn't deal. Yes, finally. Thank you. Extra card. I need to excavate the deck so I can get more energy cards. It will be 20 plus 10 for each damage. Ah, no! What's that? Mm, she's preparing. She has that dragon I prepared. Alright, that thing is not a psychic. The, the attacks, the type of the attack, ah, I forgot to mention this, the type of the attack, the one that kind of like is affected by the resistance, for, for in, in case you don't know about Pokemon TCG, the basic rules, is determined by the symbol there, the symbol is the type, the symbol here in the attack, right there, right to the left of Payday, see that they are normal energy icons, that means the attack is normal type, it's just like the, the video game, for those of you who don't know. And in this case, that slam there would be a normal type uh, attack, right? So in this case, my minus 30 resistance would be useless. But well, anyways, this meditate would be 20 plus 10 for it. And it would be 30, yeah, it would still not deal any damage because she used a potion. Okay. However, that I need to be careful with that slam because it can do a one-hit kill there. I better I better prepare my Hitmon Chan there. Mm, this will be a pretty close fight. Yes. Extra card. Let's see. Draw a card. Let's excavate through the deck so we can get more energies. Damn it, four energies. Hyper Beam 20. If the defending Pokemon has any energy cards attached to it, choose one of them. Ah, it, it's like the Goldog. It's, it's like Goldog. It's like Goldog's attack. Okay. This will be interesting, that Dragonair against my Hitmon chance. Good. Oh boy. I wasn't expecting that. 30 damage, it survives. She wants to get rid of them of Meowth, so Ooh, that had to hurt. she wants to get rid of it so so she can then use Jinx on 
on the hit moon chance. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's excavate the deck even more. Oof, sadly I don't have a matchup. But well. What to do, what to do? We have several ways right now. Uh, we'll retreat. So, you try to avoid my... My Hitmonchan. Duel of the Titans. But you won't get away with it. Then I remove that, and I... Places here in case she tries to use Jinx or Abra once again. That's a lamb, even if she gets the two coins, because she needs to flip two coins, it's 30 damage per uh, coin. If she gets a heads, it would be 60, a total of 60 damage. So, and my Hitmonchan has 70 HP, so let's go for special punch. 40 damage, enough to do a, a two-turn kill. Let's see. Draw a card. And she can and you know, she cannot do a one turn kill. So Oof. That was actually a good idea. Times two. Okay. Huh. I didn't expect her to have a second Jinx right there. Okay. Did you know that there was... Ah, I forgot to mention that there was a lot of controversy around this Pokemon in the US when it was released. I read... Not, not a lot of people know this story. This Pokemon Jinx had a lot of controversy um, because of racial issues <laughs> back when it was released back in, in the 90s. Yes, believe it or not, look it up. I'm not lying. It had a lot of problems, that poor Pokemon. It, they actually had to change the color in the in the US version. Do you notice that it's kind of like purple, the face? Well, the original face was of a different color. So, yep, that sparked a controversy, believe it or not, in the US. As if that was going to solve any racial issue, but well, <laughs> uh, it didn't. Spoiler, it, it sad, sadly didn't. So, yes. But it was a thing. It existed, believe it or not. <laughs> Special punch. Let's go. Not a lot of people know about that. <laughs> I, I know it because I remember... <laughs> um, I originally played this, this game on my first game. My first games on a Windows 98 PC. Its name was Compact Presario, something like that. It was made by Compact. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore, I think. Um, and yes, and yes, I played most of I played most of my my first games there, and I had access to the internet. Believe it or not. Um, back when I was five, yes, no, a bit less, three, three years, three years, kind of like, I was born, I learned, I learned how to walk, I learned how to speak, and then immediately after I learned how to, <laughs> how to play video games, <laughs> immediately. <laughs> It was kind of like the third, the third, the third activity I ever did. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's get rid of that Dragonair. And looks like wow. I love how the first, the first, the first ever <laughs> match that I tried to showcase, I lost miserably. And then I won all of the rest. <laughs> and then I won all of the rest. Crash? Could it be? No, it didn't crash. No, it's a notification. It's a notification, don't worry. Uh, okay. 
perhaps it did crash. Hmm. No, it didn't crash, but my, I mean, my notification, my notification, my mouse notification kicked in because I, I changed the, because I changed the DPI, and now it's like this, okay, um, yep, I need to remember not to, <laughs> see what I meant when I said that the game had a lot of issues, let me, let me alt tab. Let me old tab, don't worry. Don't worry. There we go. Let me old tab. Let me close the game. And there it is. Perfect. Let me reopen it. It didn't crash. It's just that I got a notification of my mouse battery. It wasn't my even my DPI. It's a notification, and notifications kind of like... Generally, I have the kind of like, don't disturb mode. Anyways, we would have won that match. Anyways, we would have won that match. Uh, we can try it again, but against a different deck. Fire, we haven't tried fire. Uh, but this one has advantage against fire. It'll be way too easy. Shall we do a second round of... Fighting against Psychic, fighting against Water, against Electric. Fighting against Water is kind of like the original game, kind of like the the version one, version one of the game. So, so yeah, pretty good, pretty good start. That's all I need. Yeah, let's lay out all of our Pokemon. Let's place all of them on the bench. If you pay close attention, the corners of the images are kind of like cut. They are not rounded. As you can see, they have kind of like that small black corners. They have, it, it, they have those small black corners, sorry. Because all of them are like that. Having matchup as your starter is here, it's kind of like amazing because it deals high damage and it has 50 HP, which is a lot for a first stage Pokemon. Having two matchups with energy cards is kind of like amazing. You can get by without evolving any Pokemon like this. Alright. She had to use a potion. <laughs> okay, sorry for the crash. It's so sorry for the. It wasn't a crash. It was just my notifications. Imagine that a game from from the year 2000 doesn't block your notifications. I usually have a, in Windows 10 kind of like a notification that. Oh well, that's it. this is this is so good. This is so good. I think we've already won. It's a bit early to tell, but. It's amazing. Also, notice how gorgeous the art style of of these cards was. Alright, she got two extra cards and another potion. Hmm. Three energy cards. I need to I need to knock this out. I need to knock that seal out before I need to knock it out before Itty bulbs. I'm gonna play a trainer card. Oh boy. <laughs> Go damn it, that was extremely lucky. Aha, check this out. What an unexpected turn of events! Huh. Alright. Nice comeback. She gets a prize. 
Now that's what I call a comeback. Interesting. Come on, heads. No, this not this time. Knocked out of the arena. Okay. That was so convenient. <laughs> this is basically the ace of this deck. It's the best card. It's the best card of this deck alongside Hitmonchan. This one is even worse. Because you can see that four, that three energies... Well, it's the same as this one. So, yeah. It's, it's actually worse than, <laughs> than the water deck, but well. Oh well. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> kind of like, I, I drew this card at the exact moment. Talk about the heart of the cards. <laughs> Talk about the heart of the cards. I don't think you're gonna make it. This match is mine. I don't think you're gonna make it. Yes. Uh huh. And we win. When you run out of Pokemon, both on your bench and your active Pokemon, you kind of like automatically lose without me without me drawing Not six prizes I, can't believe it. I win you beat me I demand a rematch okay okay um let's try psychic dream that we couldn't showcase with the we couldn't fully showcase with hit him hard anyways that that match was already won, but let's try Psychic Dream. Psychic Dream against Wet and Wild. No, let's try it against a different one. Poison Powder, we haven't tried that one. This is gonna be a, an extremely slow uh, match because both of those decks are kind of like slow. <sighs> You'll see what I mean in a moment. This is the slowest card ever. It's amazing, but it's extremely slow. As you can see, that attack, Tongue Grab, 10 damage, plus Paralysis, it can make for incredibly long uh, matches. And this Drowsy here. I always go first. What's this? That's a huge advantage. It's a pretty amazing hand, by the way. It's kind of like extremely balanced. Everything. Mm, let's begin. This will take a. If, this, if you were waiting for a long match, this will probably be it. <laughs> though poison powder is. Uh, though poison is is a counter against this. But anyways. Paralysis. There we go. You see that this thing has 90 HP, so imagine. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's energize this guy, just in... Just in case. Tongue rub. Not paralyzed, alright? You'll have a chance to 
to poison Lickiton and yeah I can see why it selects the uh, this deck as the the poison deck as the rival of this one because poison can pretty much get through this deck's main huh, that didn't hurt at all. main gimmick which is basically paralyzing constantly paralyzing and, and uh, delaying your your opponent's play Pokédex, damn it. All right. She rearranged her top five cards. Mm. Sleep Powder. Oh, I told you this was going to be a pretty long match. Poison, damn it. Uh huh. Do the wave. Ten damage plus ten more damage for each. Okay. Let's prepare Wigglytuff. I just need one more energy. I have it there, so perfect. Tongue wrap. Huh, that didn't hurt at all. Damn it. So unlucky. Mm. Foul odor. Both the defending Pokemon are now confused. What? Oh, yes. But that one doesn't have. A, doesn't you don't have to flip a coin? Damn it! Damn it! That Pokemon is crazy. Wigglytuff. Yes. Ratini man would be ten it would be a thirty. Do the wave would be a thirty point attack. Uh we are confused. Yeah, they stack, in case you were wondering. You can be confused and poisoned at the same time. Let's see. Let's see if we can get her to be It succeeds. So it's ten damage. And let's see if we can paralyze that gloom. Ah, damn it. Alright, it's not paralyzed. Gloom failed to retreat. Then... Okay, she didn't... She, that go, she didn't get uh, 20 points of damage because, as you can see, she first paid the cost, she tried to retreat, but but it failed. But you don't get hit for 20 damage. Okay. Three benched Pokemon, perfect. So it would be 10 plus 12, it would be a 40 point attack. It's more than enough to do a one turn knockout. Tails, Lickitung attack. Attacks itself, damn it. That was. Not. That wasn't very convenient. Knocked out of the arena. Mm. I want to knock that thing. I want to knock that thing straight up, so. Straight away, so we'll do this. Let's see. Draw a card. Come on, heads. Let's see if you can retreat. No, you stay right there. <laughs> nope, stay right there. <laughs> okay. Now's the time. Do the wave. Does 10 damage plus 10 more damage for each of your benched Pokemon. So that's 3 plus 10, 40 equals 1 hit kill. 
Good. Bye, crazy Gloom. That, that attack, that foul odor attack is so crazy. Kind of like both of them are confused and... And you don't have to toss a coin at all. That's so weird for this game. Alright, first prize. We're... Evenly matched. Don't crash. Don't crash. No, last time the game didn't crash. It was basically... We'll go for this one. Perfect. You know what? Give me that thing. We'll do Gust of Wind. That's a one hit kill. And one extra price advantage for me. This is a basic premise in all card games. <laughs> As you can see, I'm used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! rather than this. But well, from time to time, whenever, whenever I have some 10 free minutes, I would fire this game up and play some games. Uh, energy removal. There you go, that one is pretty lethal. It removes one energy. It can be lethal in some contexts. Especially this one. Okay. Alright, so I need to remember that to disable, to, to activate kind of like um, in Windows 10, I need to remember to activate the. Wow! Knocked out of the arena! I can't believe it! I need to remember to, to activate the Don't Disturb option over at the notification settings. So when I get a notification. The game, it doesn't crash, but it minimizes, and because of the weird resolution it has, it stops working. Oh, what? Sleep! Poison gas, the defending Pokémon now sleep. Alright, but sleep is pretty interesting, because it can't attack or retreat, but you have to flip a coin constantly. Oh, well, look at that. I was extremely lucky, especially considering... That I was about to do this. So that would be 5 plus 10 would be a 60 point attack. We are getting to crazy levels of of attacks here. I'll energize that jinx. Alright, I end my turn. I get to flip the coin again. See if... Damn it, we're still asleep. Alright. You have no more energies. God damn. Still asleep. That made this wiggly tough. Can't attack. There we go. Wake up. <laughs> that animation is <laughs> so creative, I guess. Hmm. Another gloom. Ah, uh, one of those crazy glue sticky hands. And the attack does 10 damage, plus 10 more damage, plus, plus 20 more damage, and the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. Damn it, that one is pretty dangerous, but it will be a one hit kill. Yes, 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 no. Actually, you couldn't paralyze Wigglytuff, and that'll cost you. Steeply. It'll be a steep cost. Wow. Knocked out of the arena. I can't believe it. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Draw a card. Huh, don't need that. Ah, it'll be one hit kill. Perfect. I think, yeah, it's a snowball by now. 
The second I could get out of that paralysis and placed five on the bench. Wow. Out of the arena. Hey, the art style looks amazing because kind of like the four in in the layout in in the stream in the stream for you because uh, it's actually compressed, so the images look a bit better. I'm playing it at 16 by 9 in case you're wondering. Sounds like full screen. Oh, again. Oh well. Hmm. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. And this is your funeral. Let me see the five cards that I was about to draw. Of course, let's rearrange them like that. Perfect. Uh, potion, just so you can see that it works, even if you have only 10 points of damage. Alright, this is my whole hand. Um, uh, we won. We just won. Pretty much. That's a victory for us. That was easy. <laughs> you wanna play again? Yes, let's do some more matches and then we'll get to the next game that that I want to showcase. Okay. Um I will play with the only deck that it's the worst deck, in case you're wondering. We are not going up against Wet and Wild because Um It's the worst deck I want to do against Electric, please. Electric. There it was right there. There we go. Electric. So it it's at least interesting. This is kind of like the worst deck fire because your your all of your attacks cost a lot and they usually consume energies. Just like electric. So we'll play fire and electric. This one will Played against a neutral deck, so so it's matched evenly. There we go. Well, but as you can see, it's extremely interesting to always to revisit these old school games from from the 90s. As you can see here, uh, this card one energy card. It's it's terrible. <laughs> so yes. And I cannot attack because Flare requires two energies. See why I don't like this deck? Oh well. I wanted to showcase all of them to you today. In only one day. Alright. Speedball. 20. Okay. Another one. This That's convenient. Flare. Uh, it, does it remove an, an energy card? No, this one is normal. Okay. Energy removal. There we go. Yes, all of the attacks have their own special effects, as you can see. Let's see. You cannot retreat. You cannot knock out that Growlithe. What the? She just unloaded her whole bench. She has no energy cards, probably. Yep. <laughs> That's what I call a terrible hand. A third Growlithe was the... Was the deal with this. Alright. Flamethrower, blah 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 blah. Discard one energy card. Uh, disgusting. I could do a one hit knockout, but well. It's better to leave it like this. <laughs> See, see how unbalanced this deck 
might be that I didn't want to evolve my Pokemon at all. Okay. Mm. 80 damage. Kind of like, there, there, there's not many Pokemon that, that are going to survive a flamethrower like that one. Alright. That's where we went. Hello, Arcanine. How have you been? Uh, then let's do this. <laughs> kind of like the best Pokemon with this deck is Magmar. Magmar is good, but the rest... Like this one, they all suck. Wow. Knocked out of the arena. I can't believe it. You have to constantly pay energy cards to attack, so yeah. I love how when I was a kid I got all and I cannot attack. I shouldn't have done that. I love how when I was a kid, back when this 1.0 set was released, I kind of like only have cards like this, like the first edition. I, I have a huge portion of, of the cards of the first edition, but I don't have any modern ones. So, yep. I always found it interesting. I always found it interesting how I have kind of like half of the complete first edition set, but not any other cards. Mostly these cards that you see here are the ones that I have. Not all of them, of course, but for example, I have this Tauros. I have this one. I don't have this one. I have this Rattata. I have this Charmander. I think I don't have Arcanine. Uh, but yeah. This deck should have twice the amount of energy cards that that it has. As you can see, it's it's so bad. <laughs> Literally, if you don't draw an energy card, you cannot attack. <laughs> I think there's nothing worse than that. Come on, let's see. We need to draw more energy cards. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm being pretty lucky. That attack should deal 70 damage, <laughs> just for the for the for the cost of uh, it has. I cannot believe this is working. This is an extremely lucky hand. Don't take this as as a fair example of how good this deck performs in the in the context of this game. I mean. Let's see. Draw a card. A hundred HP. At least it has a lot of HP. It should have a hundred and twenty. Not a surprise. I'm feeling I'm beginning to feel tempted not to evolve those scroll leaves anymore. Let's see. Draw a card. I think it's time to use take down. And well anyways we still have sixty okay. HP. Damn it. Uh 
Okay. In case you are wondering, no, the first edition Charizard is not in this game. You can only evolve this Charmander. I think, yeah, it is. I think it is. But it's not the first edition Charizard. It's kind of like this dark version of it, which sucks. So yeah, it's not the one that you are imagining. The the first edition Charizard, the legendary first edition Charizard. I love how they had to cut. The <laughs> oh, no, no, no! It's it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Okay. I thought they had to cut kind of like the graphical effect because it was way too wide there, but no, it's like that as you can see there. Um. Well, there's pretty much nothing we can do. I bet none of you knew about this weird experiment that Nintendo did back, back in the 90s. Oh well. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's it's so difficult to make this game even run that perfect. There you go. Had I used takedown at this point, 50 plus 30 damage, it would have been a knockout. Besides, I need one more energy card. Okay. Right. I think... Well, I think I'll begin energizing Magmar, because at this rate, this... These two Arcanines are gonna... Are gonna ruin my my strategy. Let's see. Draw a card. I still can't. Come on, I would still be unable to use flamethrower, but I have two huge meat shells at least. They are useful as meat shells. I mean, a hundred point meat shell is pretty OP, I guess. There we go. Flamethrower is ready. Ten damage, but no extra damage. Ninety damage. It would be so poetic to have one more energy card right now. I got two. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Go Arcanine. Hey, I think the game is working at 60 FPS. Call me crazy. Alright, you... Yeah. Took you long enough. However, sadly... I have a second one. I think I'll go for takedown with this one, straight up. If I draw another energy card, yeah. Yeah. Um, what, how much damage you can, oh, let's knock this, I'll knock this one out with, with takedown next turn, and then I'll use flamethrower for the rest, that was so stupid because, Ooh, that, had to hurt. that was so stupid, I should have used flamethrower. Or whatever. Let's get rid of this thing. Flamethrower, let's go. That was a stupid. I should have gone for flamethrower. 
Rampage. That's 20 damage plus 10 damage counter for each damage counter on Tauros. Yeah, that explains that. Mm -hmm. Ninety, not enough. Okay. Oh, look at this. The nightmare continues. <laughs> well, look at that. The Arcanines pulled through. Though I was extremely lucky that she didn't get more energy cards. It's over. Now's the time. Let's go for takedown. It'll, it'll be a double, a double knockout, but we win. There we go. 80, 30, double knockout. No, actually, it's not knocked out. Look at that. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Anyways, I, I already won. Knocked out of the arena. Arcanines for the win. You play again? Yes, but let's use another deck. <laughs> I'll go electricity. No, not against fire. Uh, against psychic, it would be an, uh, an interesting combo. That one would be a disadvantage. Let's do it against that one. We are at a disadvantage. Weakness, as you can see, they are fighting. That's why we'll ignore that and we'll begin with Tauros. I know it's a, it's also the weakness, but anyways, it's a better it's a better. I don't know. Yeah, let, let's do it. It's the same then. There we go. Could it be that I started? All matches, kind of like I was first in all matches. Could it be? Damn it. That's a one hit kill. Uh, I better fuel Stomp and Rampage. Yeah, that Boltorb is toast. It'll be the mid shield. Dev, dev, dev. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can turn this around. Out of the arena. I have a pretty... See, I discovered a pretty interesting way of... Of balancing the terrible AI of this game. Ah oh, well, I have two potions. Ah, I had this. Why didn't I use it previously? Well, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> anyways, it didn't make a lot of difference, but well. Let's see. Ah, 10 damage, but not extra, no extra damage. So cute. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you live. You have a type advantage after all. See what I say when I say... See what I mean when I say that the AI is bad? She should have attacked. Oh well. Anyways, now there's nothing that could possibly save her. And besides... Uh, if I do this, the attack will, will deal less damage, but I think I would survive. No, anyways, I wouldn't survive because it would be 20. Times 2 would be 40, and this has 4. Damn it, I have no option but to use the supper potion. 20. This one removes 4. Okay. So it would be 20. Blah, 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 confused. 10 damage. Damn it. I think we'll lose. Because I don't have any other any more Pokemon. 
Um, I think we'll lose because if I can remove four damage counters, I know. Well, it's, it's pretty much the only thing I can do. Uh, it's painful to me discarding one more one energy card, but it's a pretty dire situation. Pick up, pick Pokemon to Super Potion, energy card. Pay two cost. What? Discard one. Okay. Now I need one more. You already played one energy card this turn. So you... Ah, well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then we'll do Stomp. Anyway, now let's try that mess. So. Oh. Let's see. Times two would be 40 damage. That would be a lot of damage. See, she's trying to retreat it. She could have probably won this. See what I mean? This is a clear example of shuffle your opponent's deck. I might end up thanking her for that. If I scoop my Pokemon, I lose, right? Because I don't have any more Pokemon. Probably cannot do it as well. Temonami for each counter. Okay. Stomp. I have no damage counters. Yes. I have no damage counter counters. So, yep. 30. Hmm. Oh boy. But it'll take you two turns to get to that, so... Oh, we might survive finally. At least we won't lose <laughs> straight away. Okay. She really doesn't want me to... to draw a prize. Switch. Ha. Huh. That's much more sensible. Forty. Okay. But that yes, another Taurus. But that opens up Rampage. That's twenty damage plus ten more damage for each damage counter on Taurus, that would be sixty. However, you have to flip a coin at the end of the attack, and if it tails, Tauros is confused. Rampage. One hit kill. Uh, let's see if it's confused. No, 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 no. Heads, Tauros is not confused. Yes. Uh, anyways, she can do a one hit kill with a matchup, or with this one. Okay. Ha, so that's why she didn't want me to draw. To draw that. Because this one, as you can see, it has resistance minus 30. This is not only a meat shell, this is a wall. I think it's already dead. But well, yeah, 40 damage. 20 base plus 40. <laughs> I know, actually, 80. Yeah, 20. Plus 20, no, 40, times okay, okay, I wanted to bring Sabdos, but it's in my hand. So bad, so sad. Let's do it, Radata. Well, now this is... Quite... It's a pretty close fight. Uh, Tauros cannot attack without another energy card. So, yeah. Rattata, let's go. That's enough to do one more knockout. Let's get a one price advantage.
I bet you run out of energy cards, I guess. Nope. I mean, I need to be careful with that one because this one, Payday allows her to draw a card and she can recover pretty, pretty fast. I need to ensure she doesn't recover. Let me lay off those on the bench. I'm being energizing this beast. Uh, attack Latara. Though this attack is normal type, it won't kill me in one blow. I would have gone for a matchup, but. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> now it's a one hit kill. <laughs> That's a comeback. Wasn't expecting that. Hitmon Chance and Macho are pretty much the aces of the fighting deck. Once I have Sabdos ready, there will be nothing in your in your deck that can beat it. But well, I need three more energies, so for now you survive. She needs three, right, for the other attack. Yeah, she needs three. So let's do it. Let's see Tauros. <laughs> Typical. Twenty damage. Uh, nothing better than a relaxed Tuesday of Pokemon TCG while there's a th thunderstorm outside after the final analysis of Dungeon Siege 3. Oh, whoa. Hmm. She certainly wants to... She's getting, she's getting the price advantage right there. That was a pretty good move. I shouldn't have laid that. I should. I shouldn't have put that Rattata, that Rattata on the bench. Shouldn't have done that. Good move. Careful, the beast is getting ready. Oh well. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I make it. I still need two more energy cards for an attack. Damn it. Not again. This is actually turning out to be the best match out of all of the ones that we've played. This one is kind of like the most. The most um, evenly matched. Damn it. She has two energy card, it would be 240. I have 40, so. Yeah, even if I use a potion, she'll be able to knock this one out next turn. So it doesn't matter. And she only has two prices left, and this one will be one. Alright, I have no choice. Does this have a retreat cost? Yes, this has a retreat cost. Alright. Mm, we might lose this. We might lose this, people. That's another prize for her. She's one prize away from winning, damn it. Minus 30. Alright, she'll need to use a special power. Alright. Final boss fight. Final boss fight for you. Let's see if we can turn this around. I just need two more. Yeah, I need two more energies. So there's nothing I can do right now. But thanks to the resistance, she'll only be able to deal 10 damage. Damage reduced. It's 40. Special punch. 30 points are reduced. We're getting closer. One more energy. One more energy, and this one doesn't consume energies. In fact, this one this one only deals damage to itself after flipping a coin, which is much more... It's, it's better than Arcanine's effect. But this one has a, a shield of minus 30 resistance. Good. I have two potions. Perfect. We can... 
We need to last a bit longer. Damn it. No, you have to be kidding me. That's such a cheap way of winning. No. That's such a cheap way of winning. <laughs> but well, this was a good strategy. Damn it. Ah. Damn. That was a good match. That was a good match. That was a good match. I need to remember not to lay so many Pokemon sure Pokemons on the bench. Damn it. That was a good match. Let's do it again. Do it again. No, the other one. No. This one. Let's do it. Let's do it again. They are all weak to to fighting, so that's a problem. They don't give me a lot of time to maneuver. They don't give me a lot of chances to maneuver. Uh, besides, they don't paralyze. If only I had Electabuzz, Electabuzz at least paralyzes. Let's do this this time. I need to remember not to lay a lot of Pokemon on the bench. And this deck again first. First again, no, we have to be kidding me. Hitmonchan first turn. That's so lucky. Oh. It, it's a one hit kill, right? It's a one hit kill. Damn it! It's a one hit kill. This attack should paralyze. Besides, she's getting a card advantage. Knocked out of the arena. Mm. Can you give me sub those place? Good. 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 Well, I shall do this. That card, that card actually saved me. Damn it, winning against this deck is probably one of the most difficult matchups ever. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, the problem is, is if she uses another energy card. Damn it. I don't know why that doesn't surprise me. Knocked out of the arena. <laughs> this deck is the worst against that one. Unless you draw Sapdos or Electabas, you are so dead. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead, basically. <laughs> we lost. <laughs> Yep, I guess you can see that this deck, the previous match was pretty good, but this one, kind of like, this one is so unbalanced that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because all of the HP, all Pokemons of this deck have such a low HP that they, get, they all get killed in one blow. Alright. Mm. What else? I think I've already showcased all of the decks that I that I liked. That that final that final <laughs> that final match with that Sapdos I wanted to showcase it, but well, 
It, it was going to be epic. Uh, let's see if we can do it. Kind of like a, a final boss test. Let's see if we can beat it somehow. Let's see if we can beat it. I don't know, with Electabuzz something... Electabuzz. Electabuzz may do it. No, let's leave that there. Anyways, I have two scoop ups. That's good. We'll do this one and perhaps yeah, then we can play one other. Hey, hey, I'm always going first. What's the meaning of this? You can go second in case you're wondering. It should be 50 50. Alright, let's see Electabuzz. Electabuzz should. Well, if it paralyzes that matchup. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, it will hurt if it gets paralyzed. <laughs> Let's see. Draw a card. Mm. You are not playing very good. Thundershock. In case you haven't realized, it's 10 and the other one is potentially 40. So let's try if I can if I can paralyze her. It'll be a, a two-turn kill, but since she won't be able to attack, it's a free knockout. See? Either you draw Electabuzz, Sabdos, or lose <laughs> with this setup. Let's go, Electabuzz. Let's see. Let's see if we can do a one-hit kill. Let's see, come on. Yes! Thirty plus ten... ...equals knockout. Damn it, she has three matchups. It's the best hand possible. Well, maybe a better one is... A hit Monchan. Better it's two hit Monchans. Oh well, that's extremely difficult to draw. Alright. She'll probably try to evolve it. Damn it, if she knocks out Electabas, we're in trouble. It's better to scoop up, scoop it. Ah, there we go. Scoop up Electabas. Oh no, here we have another one. All right, um, this one is a bit tricky because uh, I don't have a potion and and if I don't paralyze that matchup, if I don't paralyze it, um, if I don't paralyze that matchup, it will be able to knock me out in the first turn. Um, yeah, next turn. I'll be able to knock me knock Electabuzz, knock out Electabuzz first uh, in the first turn. In the in the next turn, sorry, first turn. In the next turn, um, this one is tricky to choose. Uh, if I use Thunder Punch, whatever I do, I am giving her a free knockout. But if I use this one and it doesn't get paralyzed, I'm doing the same and not dishing out the damage. I'm not dealing any damage, so let's go for the safe, the safer way. Let's see if I can deal 40 damage. Well, 30. Anyways, it's uh... Wow. I also, also this attack deals 10 damage to Electabuzz. Are you trying to evolve that matchup? I don't think it's gonna last. Alright, you get your first prize, but that won't help you. Mm -hmm. There we go. Stomp. Um, I'm one prize ahead of you. And one price ahead of her, people. Exactly 50, it's kind of like... Wow. Alright, 
right. Oh. I mean, she, she had another energy card for this one. Uh, I think we should go for Rampage. We have two energy cards anyway. Well, now we have three. Well, let's go Rampage. Annihilate that matchup. <laughs> Anyways, it's 70 damage. Not confused. Ah, this one was important, actually. We have a slight advantage. Hey, good. Wasn't expecting to be so lucky. This is kind of like the perfect spot to be at, because Rampage deals uh, 20 damage plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on Tauros, so it will be 20 plus 30. It's a total 50 damage, that's a one-hit kill, but it has 60 HP, so it can still take a hit. So, let's do it. Let's see if it gets confused. Taurus is confused. Damn it. Taurus is kind of like a double-edged sword. It's a good... It's better than most... Kind of like most starter Pokemons to draw, but then... It can... It can be a problem. It can be a mess. I mean, it's better than using Pikachu, but... Not as good as having matchup or hit my channel. Okay. Another one. Electabuzz. I think she ran out of energy cards at this point. Rampage. I have nothing to lose anyways. It's confused anyways. Attacks itself for 20 damage. Anyways, that thing cannot attack, right? Nope. It cannot attack. Fascinate. Flip a coin. Has choose one opponent bench Pokemon. It's useless. It's better for her to get a free knockout with that Taurus. But let's see if she can get it. Damn it! <laughs> she just got it. <laughs> I handed it myself. Double confusion. Damn it! See what I meant? Risky Pokemon to use. Yes, I know, I know. But now you'll have to deal with Electabuzz. It's the worst because it gets knocked out and it kind of like ends the turn because it's an attack. So it's terrible. Poisoned. Poison Claws. <laughs> Notice how Poison Claws wasn't actually an attack in the game, especially not in the first generation. Alright, you are dead. I think you'll be able to see Sabdos today, people, in this match. I think I showcased all of the aces. Wigglytuff, Garados, Machoke, only this one left. Uh, perhaps Charizard, well, but I used Arcanine. Not paralyzed, damn it. Yeah. Hmm. God damn it. I hate poison. Looks like I'll have to spend one of these on you, Electabus. You are delaying Sabdos. Sabdos' is arrival. But to hell with it. 
knock it out. Other ones, 40 damage. To hell with it. So for straight damage, there we go. 10 damage for me. I don't know, not 10 damage because uh, it, it was heads. It doesn't have a retreat cost, this thing. I'm going to see the advantage of having it. Come on, heads. <laughs> Remains poisoned anyway. 10 more damage because of the poison. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, no, right, she used the potion, damn it. My bad there. Let's see if I can paralyze her. Nope, damn it. <laughs> Should I gone for Thunder Punch? <laughs> oh boy. Come on, that was a nice and properly timed switch. 40 damage instead of 80, but well. Knocked out of the arena. Really? But now you have to deal with it. With the legend itself. The bird. The one that you dodged last time, but this time it won't be. Like that. Alright, we have all energies in turn. Remember, minus 30 resistance. Last time you managed to dodge it, but this time... You have three. You will need to draw three prizes, so it won't help you. All right, the eagle itself, the thunder itself, Sabdos. Let's go, thunder. Sixty damage, and let's see if I get thirty points of damage. Damn it, tails. <laughs> I get 30 points of damage. Actually, the sub loss is kind of like a huge wall. Wow. Knocked out of the arena. I can't Feel the wrath of the thunder itself. We, we may go for Thunderbolt. Anyways, I only have one more prize to, to draw. This one was a bit more evenly matched. Poison or not, you are dead. Thunderbolt incoming. Thunderbolt incoming. Thunderbolt incoming. This way. Precisely, there's a thunderstorm outside, so this is a poetic way of finishing my stream today. Of finishing the last match of, <laughs> of, of today. Um, because there's a thunderstorm outside. So... Thunderbolt. All energy is discarded. Take a hundred damage all for you. <laughs> Ellipsis. Ten, 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 ten. Ellipsis. Annihilated. One roasted Persian for dinner. You're pretty impressive. You wanna play again? No, Julie. We we've done enough. We played enough today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's showcase. As I've said, it took me a lot of effort to make this game run on Windows 10. Um, it, it took even more effort to find the correct configuration in order to ensure that the game wouldn't crash. The game didn't crash uh, in the middle of the stream. It was basically a notification from my desktop so bear in mind that that can happen and it also took a lot of time to capture the footage as you've seen today but it was a special showcase sadly we didn't have enough time to showcase the second game that i wanted to showcase today so we'll do it on thursday and then next week we'll continue with the next game that i have prepared for all of you uh, i don't know maybe we can begin on thursday uh right away if um if the 15 stages continues of Outrun 2, 
don't take a lot of time. So, yes, pretty, pretty much. So, well, hope you enjoyed this blast from the past. It has other options here, uh, kind of like you can see the rest of the cards, all of the, kind of like the first generation of the original cards. It's a complete set, as you can see. Uh, they are not used. It would have been amazing if you could create your own... Um, if you could create your own decks and use them and let the artificial intelligence use them, it would have been amazing. Because as you can see, the art style and and everything, this is the, the legendary the legendary Charizard, the, the most expensive Pokemon card ever. I actually have a copy of it, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, and also the, Garado, the Gyarados, because basically, um, of course, mine is in Spanish. <laughs> it was the first card I ever drew. I didn't want to say it, but yes, it was the first card I got. My first Pokemon card was actually this one and this Beedrill both together um, this was actually my first Pokemon card <laughs> yes um, all of them are from the first generation I have a lot of these ones of this Abra for example that Diglett there this Ghastly these are all these are all the cards that I have that's why I have a personal connection with these for example I don't have this one uh, I have Electabuzz I think I don't have this Electrode I have the Gyarados, this one, this one, and this one. I have them all. This one, for example, I don't have it. I wanted to get it back in the day. I couldn't. But I have this one and this one. And yes, here you can say, for example, I got it. I don't have it. I, ha I got it. I don't have it. Here you can filter them and basically watch uh, the whole the whole set, for example. For example, I never knew this one was a thing. And then yes, it was. I never got it. I got this one, for example. I got this one. I got my Garados. I got this one. I have it. I have this one, but I don't have Polyrath. Uh, so yeah, I almost have a complete first edition set, but not all of them. I have this one. I have this. One, I don't have this one. I have this one. I think I have this Voltorb. Uh, this one definitely. Not this one. Not this one. Not this Sabdos. I have a different Sabdos. The one that does. Uh, Burn through thunder, something like that. A lot of them in Spanish. I don't have this Chansey, for example, or this one. And yes, basically here you can, uh, you could print them. You could print them because, believe it or not, the original idea of Pokemon TCG was so. So you could print them. The original idea was to release this initial set of 151 or whatever, the, the, the first edition of all of the Pokemon cards and uh, so ch children could print them print a list of cards that you have and you can print them and then you can cut them and play with them basically here you can build a custom deck, it doesn't work actually Welcome to the deck builder. What would you, like to do? you can uh, you cannot actually build, I've already tried it uh, if you if you build, uh, kind of like it won't save, it won't, it won't do anything. But here you can print your current deck. So here you can see that the original idea, believe it or not, it was another time, a time in which <laughs> consumerism wasn't rampant, and Nintendo didn't want, wasn't expecting to sell uh, all of the cards by themselves. They tried to kind of like these are the ones that I have. This one. Charmander, Charmeleon, and, and this Charizard, the legendary one. The first one. It's a, it's a, it actually says... It's actually the fourth print. It's actually the fourth print. You can see there, but it's, a, it's kind of like... Comic one of Superman. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, so yeah. Here you have it here. Extras. Extra cool stuff. If you... Click on this Pokeball, don't do it if you, if for whatever reason the game works for you, don't do it because it'll take you online and it will close the game and, well, they had a, a, a side back in the early, back in the 2000s, so yeah, pretty much that's all, here's some help, and you have the credits, of course, here you can see it, official, licensed Nintendo product, there you have it, so you can see that I don't, I'm not lying, 
Fluid Entertainment, basically published by Wizards of the Coast, developed by Fluid Entertainment. For Fluid, here you have the lead programmers, so let's give them credit for what they did. It's a special, um, it's a special piece of software that has been forgotten by. There's also a a drawing program, kind of like it's like Paint, but with Pokemon, with these art styles that was uh, released. So it was also released by Hasbro there, and. Uh, and these were all special pieces of software that are part of the history of the gaming industry because um, thank you for watching all the credits that was cute <laughs> uh, because not a lot of uh, companies got to make these weird products and there we are and we're back to our normal layout let me see here so well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Today I wanted to showcase this special piece of software because last year it crashed. And well, this time, as you can see, I finally managed to... Let's see if my browser is working. Yeah, it's working right there. It's working right there. I wanted to showcase this special piece of software that um, barely anyone knows about. Because last year, as I've said, it crashed and I couldn't showcase it as I wanted to. So, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed my special, our special showcase of today. A pretty weird showcase, I know, but it was needed because I wanted to showcase this last year. And as I said, I couldn't. Um, next time, we'll begin with, uh, um, with OutRun. 15 stages continuous. And then... Uh, we will start the next game for analysis. It'll be a 3D platformer. It'll be a 3D platformer. So, because we haven't analyzed lo any platformers on the channel, that's weird. And I have a lot, as you can see there. Um, so yes, basically, we'll 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 do the 15 stages continuous of Outrun, which is something that I also wanted to do. I'll 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 take advantage of this hiatus of this one week hiatus that we are doing. Um, between analysis um, uh, until we we begin the next uh, game that we have to analyze. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, thanks from the bottom of my heart, uh, Maru Yatum. Of course, I salute you from here. Um, special special thanks for finding and 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 following the the Twitch uh, channel. Uh, it's it's pretty difficult to grow on Twitch, much more than on YouTube, even worse than on, than than on YouTube. But well, ladies and gentlemen, the important thing is that we get to showcase all of these amazing gems. That otherwise, I I think no one else. Will. <laughs> There's no footage online of this of this game uh, that I just showed you, because it as I've said, it, it, they should remake this and re-release it, but it would ruin Pokemon TCG Online. That's why they, it, it's never going to happen. So yeah, it's a forgotten piece of software. Alright, and also thanks to all of the subscribers of the YouTube channel from the bottom of my heart. You all encourage me to continue showcasing all of these forgotten gems that otherwise wouldn't get the price, wouldn't get the price it they deserve. Ladies and gentlemen, See you all on Thursday. We'll do the 15 stages continuous of Outrun that I still have to, that I wanted to showcase last year as well, but we haven't finished the game. And we'll begin the next analysis. It'll be a 3D platformer, so be sure to stay tuned. Uh, I'm glad that I could finally showcase this one, and we can showcase it from time to time eventually, so people get to know it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been my pleasure. We won't do it anyways, now that we've, it's a pretty basic game. I will. I'll showcase you other uh, trading card games. Ah, one last thing. I made a custom icon for it, as you can see here. Uh, believe it or not, the other one that I wanted to showcase to all of you, I'll be honest with you, is this version of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, because it's amazing. It's kind of like one of the initial versions before they capped, before they, before they nerfed the artificial intelligence, and it's actually a reversed engineered version. 
it works offline, it's portable. So, and besides, I have something interesting to, to show you there. Because I have my own personal deck. I played Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot. And I have my own personal deck there that is extremely old. It only uses old cards. And I know this will sound stupid to any seasoned Yu-Gi-Oh! player because the game has evolved so much that the original gameplay mechanics, the original mechanics were completely ruined by the power creep. But I have a, 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 an interesting deck that that you'll be surprised. It'll be a special stream, but it won't be uh, now. It'll be next year, probably. So yes, uh, you, you'll see. You'll see. We'll play a little a little role play game that I like to do whenever I have free time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's been my pleasure. See you all next time. <laughs>